Hey guys, I know myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And as promised, today we're taking a look at the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus running iOS 15. Many users still use the iPhone 7 every single day. You guys want to know how is iOS 15 beta 1 so far on the iPhone 7 model. So in this video, we're going to go over some of my personal experience, some of the features that are coming to the iPhone 7 lineup with iOS 15, as well as some of the features that are not coming to the lineup. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at iOS 15 on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Now, as I mentioned, everything that I'll be mentioning in this video will be referencing the iPhone 7 as well as the 7 Plus. Now, first I want to talk about Safari. In Safari, although I do not like the new UI, everything is fully featured here. We have the new Safari layout here. And we also have the new tab system and we also have the new shared with you option. So when someone shares something with you in messages, it'll be available here in Safari. If we head on over to the Safari menu, we also have all the options that you would expect within the menu on other devices as well. Scroll all the way to the bottom here. We have all our options in Safari, including background images, which are available here for the iPhone 7 in iOS 15. So there you go. Safari is fully featured. So if you were wondering, yes, everything is coming to the iPhone 7 lineup within Safari. Now there's also additional changes within FaceTime. Now FaceTime received a, one of its biggest updates yet. And the iPhone 7 is getting most of these features. So for example, we have the actual create links, which allows you to share a FaceTime call with anyone with an Android device or any Windows PC, and they can actually join a group FaceTime by sharing that link. So this will be fully featured here with iPhone 7 FaceTime in iOS 15, as well as screen sharing in SharePlay, where you can actually share any movie or video, or TV show, or music with someone on a FaceTime call is also featured here. Now, there's a few things that are not available for FaceTime. For example, we don't have the mic isolation feature or the mic spectrum feature, but that's hardware related. And we don't have the portrait mode option for FaceTime here for the FaceTime on the iPhone 7, but that is hardware related as well but other than that everything is featured here for the iphone 7. now i also want to move over to the weather because the weather received a few updates here everything in terms of ui changes when it comes to the layers precipitation the weather the radar everything animations within the weather application it is fully featured here for the iphone 7 so if you were hoping for those new changes everything will be here including the live weather notifications within the lock screen so if weather is happening soon you will be notified here and that is region based so not all regions will see that but it is featured for iphone 7 as well now the next thing i want to talk about is messages because as i mentioned before on other reviews for ios 15 the messages application feels are underwhelming uh, i thought apple would add more features but hopefully in future betas we'll see additional features here with the messages application but we do get the new image carousel and all the new ui changes the new emoji stickers and things like that are all featured here and you also have the shared with you options where you can mention someone and they will actually uh, go ahead and get that notification as i mentioned earlier within safari within the news application and so forth throughout the os that something was shared through the messages application which is super cool to see as well now a lot of you guys have been asking about the photos now one thing not coming to the iphone 7 lineup is the ability to identify like say a business an animal this live text information built in to the newer iphones is not built in to iphone 7 so for example on a newer iphone i can actually identify the breed of a dog a store if there's a phone number i can actually copy and paste it from an image so live text and identifying objects within photos it's something that's not coming to the photos for ios 15 on iphone 7 at least not yet it isn't here we also uh, do not have some of the filters associated with the memories but everything else you've seen for ios 15 such as the new animations that you get for some of the memories and options within photos we also get some information for photos and you can change the stamps and the different options for photos location and things like that but just live text is not available here which is slightly a bummer but i don't think most users uh, will miss that it is an awesome feature i do have to say but you won't be able to identify things like that like animals stores books and things like that within photos unfortunately everything else you should be fine in the photos department when it comes to widgets however you'll get all the new 
new widgets that you do get for other iPhones as well. So if we head on over here to the widget panel here, we have some new widgets available for the App Store. We also have some different ones for Calendar also clock so there is the app store one which is fully featured here we get up to three here for the iphone 7 lineup we get some new ones for the clock that one right there is new we get the find my widgets here as well so if you guys watch my videos we get the emails widget as well if you watch my videos you already know some of the new widgets that are coming and we get the new sleep tracking widgets available here as well so everything in terms of widgets and different widget options is available for the iphone 7 lineup in ios 15 which is always uh, good to see now focus is one of the biggest features coming to the iphone uh, this year with ios 15 so if we head on over to the focus categories here we have do not disturb and do not disturb options are all fully featured here everything in terms of ui changes enhancements to the do not disturb and options everything is fully featured so that's also great news to see and we have the actual focused options which you can set a different modes depending on what you're doing if you're working sleeping uh, any other option that you may want to set here, maybe at the gym, based on location, based on time of day and things like that. You'll be able to use all those good new features within the focus and do not disturb with iPhone 7 and iOS 15, which is super cool. Now, in terms of music, you guys have been asking, do iPhone 7 get Dolby Atmos? And the answer to that is yes, Dolby Atmos support is here for Apple Music. And if you have AirPods, you also get spatial audio. So spatial audio plus Dolby Atmos, you'll be able to enjoy Apple's new listening experience, which is super cool if you haven't tried it just yet. And you do have AirPods, you wanna try those features out if you're running iOS 15 on your device. Now, I don't never recommend a running uh, a beta on a primary device because there's still bugs obviously facetime isn't working properly for everyone it's gonna happen right so uh, things like that are not working properly inside of facetime the screen sharing and the share play options are not working properly there's just minor bugs however i have noticed that when it comes to touch id it works slightly faster than that of face id when it comes to authentication also the app switcher invoking control center notification center it's a lot snappier in some cases even faster than newer devices i've been surprised with the performance in regards to battery i do have to say although this isn't my primary everyday use device i have to say that the battery is pretty good so far with the iphone 7 lineup here uh, i do have to say though that i did lose a uh, two percent of the battery capacity when i updated to the latest beta and that is subject to happen depending on your device and the age of the battery but overall although this is a beta and i don't like to judge the battery on a beta software it just it, i don't feel like it's fair uh, it is pretty good so far as i use it sporadically uh, throughout my day here at the studio now one thing i do want to mention is that if you're going to install ios 15 on any device keep in mind that there will be bugs the iphone will freeze in locations you also have some of the features that are not working or not here just yet but overall uh, so far i like what i'm seeing for the iphone 7 lineup with ios 15 everything seems to be going good so far of course apple will continue to improve upon the software and maybe add new features and changes to the iPhone 7 and all the other iPhones with the upcoming betas for iOS 15. Let me know what you think in those comments down below if you're using iOS 15 on your iPhone 7. How's your experience so far? I would like to hear from you. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.